This video tells the story of my ancestor who left Cantillana, Seville, Spain and came to the New World. My name is Diana Saavedra and my 13th great-grandfather, Francisco de Montoya, was born and married in Cantillana and probably immigrated from Cantillana with his son Bartolome after his wife died in 1580. My purpose in going to Cantillana, Spain was to walk the streets of my ancestors. Cantillana is located just north of Seville in southern Spain. It was a fortified town along a major commerce and trade route, even in Roman times. During the time of my grandfathers, the area prospered because the two ruling counts came together in peace to defend and administrate the area. This is Cantillana in May. This is the Villar River, which runs close by the town, which was navigatable and used for commerce when my grandfathers lived there. This is the best view of Cantillana. This is similar to the skyline and size of the town as it would have looked in the late 1500s, except there would have been a city wall. The streets behind the large church still show the dimensions of the medieval town about the year 1000. The chapel of Nuestra Señora was finished around the time of Francisco and Bartolome's departure and was the major building project of all time in Cantillana. Also, just around the corner, about the same time, another chapel was completed with the Hospital of Compassion. This is the ancient courtyard from the 1500s with its well, but with the courtyard walls missing. Something my grandfathers would have walked by every day, and which was already standing for 700 years when they lived there, were the city walls with its defensive towers. While the walls are gone, the last tower, today, still stands as part of a residential area. The layout of the streets in the old part of Cantillana still show their layout that existed 700 years or more before Francisco, and many squares still have their wells that were so essential for water. As I said, about 1585-ish, Francisco de Montoya left his family's town with his son, my 12th great-grandfather, and probably took a flat-bottom boat down the Guadalquivir River that had been navigatable and used for commerce for the previous 1500 years. Painted at the time of Francisco and Bartolome, this painting shows the port where they would have arrived in Sevilla in the area of the Golden Tower or Tower of Gold. Seville was the main receiving point for shipments of trade and riches from the conquest of the New World. And this is the style of ship they would have sailed on. Departing from Seville, or a port in the surrounding area, the ship left the Mediterranean crossed the Atlantic Ocean in about three months and arrived in Nueva España, New Spain, presumed the Atlantic side of Mexico today. It was in this area that Francisco's son, Bartolome, met and married his bride, Maria de Zamora, my 12th great-grandmother, whose family came from Zamora, Spain. Zamora is a city in the Castile y León province and lies near the border with Portugal in the north of Spain. With its 24 characteristic Romanesque style churches of the 1100s and 1200s, 300 years before Columbus, the city has been called a Museum of Romanesque Art. Zamora is a city with the most Romanesque churches in all of Europe. We'll visit her ancestor's city in the future and make a video to tell some of her family's story. After marriage, Bartolome and Maria followed the immigration and exploration trail north from Mexico to another Nuevo Mexico and helped to settle the Albuquerque, Santa Fe, New Mexico area. This was the route and final destination of many other Spaniards and past residents of the Seville area where Spanish customs and bloodlines, my next 12 generations, would dominate for the next 400 years. Both Bartolome and Maria died in Santa Fe in 1609 at 37 years old, a year before his 60-year-old father died. It was a time of war and colonization, and through conquest and power struggles, Santa Fe became the capital of New Mexico in 1610. These were violent times, or perhaps disease was the deciding factor. It was a thrill for my husband and me to walk the streets of my ancestors and be enriched by the culture and sights of my family history in Cantillana, Spain. Mm -hmm. 